staff get Glasgow Girl in. The light blinks. They stand and they're set. Race three. Off they go. Emerald Trader stood there, walked out of the machine, missed it by five or six, but Glasgow Girl looked as though she was slung shot from the gates and landed straight in front. Quickly outside of her is Outspoken Ladders. They settle down with Henchard over on the inside next, getting going into stride properly. As they go out by the 950 metre mark, over on the outside next of all, as they go towards the far corner, one just trapped a little deep, coming across Mini Winnie, then a length and a half to Civvy Street, back behind those next Dominique, Carton era. Further back is Mel Arab as they come down the side. Differentiator behind those. Plays with fire as well back. It's over on the outside of Emerald Trader who tacked onto the field. At the 5.50 they come. Glasgow Girl leads them and she'd quickened up the tempo as well. Leads from Outspoken Lad coming to the turn. Two lengths away then over on the inside. Henchard, Mini Winnie prominent. Followed by Sevy Street. Dominier going up near the middle. Carton era then came. Differentiator plays with fire. Still seven or eight lengths from them. They have to get to Glasgow Girl at the 200 mark. Glasgow Girl a length and a half outspoken lad. Sevy Street running on so's differentiator. It's Glasgow Girl still in front. Sevy Street looms. Here's Sevy Street. Glasgow Girl. They went to it. Glasgow Girl. Sevy Street. Glasgow Girl might be a nose. Sevy Street. Little between them though in another tight go. And for third outspoken lad or differentiator the deepest of them. In behind them Cartanera plays with fire. Henchar then Dominia Malarab. Emerald Trader, after missing the kick terribly, came out five lengths behind the field. It was amongst the last of them home and back with it, the tiring Mini Winnie. Glasgow Girl, she's done all of the work in front. Led them and led them until the shadows and then Civvy Street came. Did it come in time? It's hard to tell. Another tight go. Civvy Street, Glasgow Girl, Little between them at the end of the 1300. And it'll be Civvy Street just. It'll be Civvy Street that gets there by a nostril. Number four, Kesh Duran over Glasgow Girl. Differentiator will be third, outspoken lad fourth. So a nail biter with Civvy Street. Sean J. Casey coming up with a double. Cash Duran, his first win here this afternoon by War Chant out of Artie's Bell and has picked off Glasgow Girl, which has done everything but win the race. Ridden by Victoria Corver, differentiator Willie Pike in third place. Outspoken lad, fourth home after the running of the third. The winner is by War Chant for BJ, Mrs. J. Duran, Cash Duran, and a training double today for the team of Sean and Jake Casey. It is a nose, the margin. A long head second and third in 117.74, 34.50, the concluding 600. Well, Glasgow Girl, she has done everything but win this race by Regano out of highest honour. Brad Graham, Victoria Corver could have gone either way. And third differentiator by Demerit from Kensington, Jim, Summer Dixon and Willie Pike. Now, I'm not sure what happened to Emerald Trader there, but it did miss the kick by about five. And... It stood there just flat-footed and has been declared a runner. Thank you, Marty, from the stewards' room. So Emerald Trader has been declared a runner, having just stood there flat-footed in the stalls. Missed it terribly, though. Four, three, eight and two they are. And a nose a long head after the running of race number three. The fourth is the Amelia Park Handicap. And in the next of the day, Willie Pike rides number three, not secret. Race four, number three, not secret. Now W. Pike as we go down to B. Taylor, who's in the enclosure. Hey, they've got you working hard today, Mac, with these tight finishes. Another one there. Jay Casey joins me again. It is a double for the Casey Yard. Civvy Street just managed to get the nose down when it counted. I asked Neville Parnham when he won the previous what he thought on the line. What did you think on the line in this event? Yeah, I, th I thought we missed, but I was, yeah, I was happy, happy to see him come up in the photo. I think most people do try to be a little bit conservative with what they think on the line and luckily it's gone your way. What did you think of the run seven days ago in the Sky Final and when did it become apparent that you would be backing up? Um, yeah, I thought he'd go quite well the other day but I, look, he, he got dragged back and they, they went really quick and he was never really comfortable in the run. Um, he still found the line without being great in it but uh, yeah, we were sort of thinking of putting him out after that but um, he, he pulled up good so we, we nominated him for today and... Uh, 
yeah, we sort of left it till, till late and um, yeah, lucky we, we went around. I bet you're glad that he's not in the paddock today. What does the last seven days look like for him? Did you have to do much with him at all? No, nah, you know, very quiet. He just sort of he went to the track uh, once and uh, yeah, he's just been playing around at home on the walker and whatnot and uh, yeah, very little, you know, he's obviously very race fit and uh, yeah, he, you know, he's, he's gone super this prep, this horse and uh, no, he's just, he's flying so yeah, credit to him to the paddock now or do you sneak another one? Yeah, I don't know, we'll, we'll let him tell us again. <laughs> well done on the double. No, thank you. There is Jake Casey, let's get to Kesh Duran. Yes, uh, Kesh was pretty happy with himself too. Photo on the line, Kesh, did you think you got the job done? Uh, the way he's travelling is uh, I have plenty on my hand and uh, I know like he will, uh, he will finish off really good and uh, he won, you know. But I'm not really like 100 percent sure like I won. Probably 75 percent I probably won. But yeah. What sort of run did you get today? Uh, he jumped really good and Jake tell me like uh, be positive, give me a dig and put him on the race and put he jumped really good. I put him midfield and he travelled really good. When I asked the sprint, he gave me a good, very good sprint. And uh, last start he just like probably a um, little bit unlucky. He get held up and he's uh, get his sticky gate last time, but. Today is pretty, pretty lucky, you get a good gate and you get a nice spot and you finish off really good. Congratulations. No worries, thank you. I have to thank uh, Sean Casey, a big support of mine, um, uh, Jake and Bonnie, everyone, all the team. Congratulations, Kesh will do run. There is Kesh who uh, wins there on Civvy Street for Sean and Jake Casey who make it a double with two horses still to run later on in the program. Four, three, eight and two, the numbers from race number three.